the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone Wait for me to come home Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to play Photograph by Ed Sheeran on ukulele. This is probably one of my favorite Ed Sheeran songs, so I'm super excited for this tutorial. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know your favorite Ed Sheeran song because I'm always looking for more tutorial ideas. All right, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you want to play with the original track is capo the fourth fret of your ukulele. So you would just put your capo right there. However, I'm not using a capo in this tutorial and I'm still playing the same chord is if you were to have a capo on the fourth fret, I'm just gonna sing in a lower key because it matches my voice better. It's just up to your preference and your voice range whether you wanna use the capo or not, but we're all using the same chords. There's four easy ones. Let's go ahead and get right into those. The first chord is a C major. The next one is an A minor. Then we have a G chord. And last we have an F. And those are the only four chords that you need, so now we can go into progressions and strumming patterns. Okay, so the intro and the verses have the same progression. It's C, A minor, G, F. The first strumming pattern that I want to make aware is that you can use single down strums for the whole song. That's a good starting point if you're a beginner. So whenever you see the chord change on the screen, you'll just do one single down strum. Starting on the C, loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes, but it's the only thing that I know. The strumming pattern that I like to use is consisted of eight down strums, however, I use accents on some of them. If you're doing straight down strums, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight down strums, counting that out with the beats, one and two and three and four and. However, I'm accenting certain beats, so it's gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and. I'm accenting the first beat, the and beat that comes right before the three and the fourth beat. One and two and three and four and. And actually, whenever I'm strumming the songs, the other strums that I do that aren't accented, I really kind of mute them so they don't sound as much. They just kind of make that sound. Going along with the progression for the intro and the verses, this is what it's gonna sound like. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. So you notice that I'm counting to four two times on each chord, so I'm going through that strumming pattern twice. So if you can practice that strumming pattern and get it down, you can actually use it for the entire song because it works well with all of the parts. I am gonna show you a couple other strumming patterns, but first I'm gonna give the example of how that would sound with the lyrics of the first verse. Lovin' can hurt Lovin' can hurt sometimes but it's the only thing that I know You know it can get hard You know it can get hard sometimes And it's the only thing that makes us feel alive And of course you could do not muted down strums for the other ones, which would sound something like this. Now that we have the intro and the verses covered, we can move on to the pre-chorus, which you use the same strumming pattern. It is a different progression. It's gonna be A minor, F, C, G, and you're only gonna do the strumming pattern once on each chord, so it is a little bit shorter time that you're gonna be on each chord before you switch. So starting on the A minor, here is the example with the lyrics. We keep this love in the photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closed and our hearts are never broken And time's forever frozen still 
So you can now for the chorus. The progression is C, G, A minor, F, and you're gonna go back to doing the strumming pattern twice on each chord. You can definitely keep doing the strumming pattern that I just showed you for the previous parts. However, I have another one that I'm gonna show you that also works nicely. This one is gonna be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Going through that with the chords, starting on C, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Again, I did that strumming pattern twice on each chord, and for the first chorus, you're just going through that progression once, and for the second chorus, you're actually going through it twice. Here's the example with the lyrics. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer till I ice meet, you won't ever be. chorus you're actually going to be ending on the C chord because you're going back into the verse progression which is the same thing that I showed you before. I'll go ahead and go through verse 2 with the same strumming pattern that I used for the chorus just so you can see how that strumming pattern also works with the verses. Loving can heal, loving can mend your soul, and it's the only thing that I know. can't even sing the lyrics. I'm so embarrassed. Also, if any of you are the least bit curious, I'm actually wearing pajama pants right now. So this is how I film my videos sometimes. And then you would do the pre-chorus again, the exact same thing that I explained before. Here's the part where on the second chorus, it does another round of the progression. So here we go. Going from the end of that first part on the A minor. I meet, you won't ever be alone. Such a fun part. The interlude is actually the same progression as the pre-chorus, so it's A minor, F, C, G. The difference is, is that you'll remember for the pre-chorus, you only went through the strumming pattern one time. For the interlude, you're gonna do it twice. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a strumming pattern of down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So leaving the chorus going into that interlude. I won't ever let you go. Wait for me to come home. is there's an outro which is the same progression and strumming pattern as the chorus so it's not anything new the lyrics are just a little bit different oh you can fit me inside the necklace you got when you were 16 next to your heartbeat where i should be keep it deep within your soul and if you hurt me oh that's okay baby only words these pages will just hold me I won't ever let you go When I'm away I will remember how you kissed me Under the lamppost back on 6th Street Hearing you whisper through the phone Wait for me to come home also, you're ending the song on the C chord, so you can just do one single down strum to end it. 
it. And that's the entire song. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial helped you. If it did, it'd be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to because I would love to have y'all back here for another lesson with me. I also have a playlist of all the ukulele tutorials that I've ever done, so feel free to go check that out and find another song that you want to learn. Don't forget to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and be a good person. I love y'all. Bye!